नमस्कार योग पथ में आपका स्वागत है इस वीडियो में हम आपको बताएंगे कैसे योग की सहायता से आप गठिया जिसे हम अर्थराइटिस के नाम से भी जानते हैं के दर्द से राहत पा सकते हैं गठिया हमारे शरीर के जोड़ों में होने वाले दर्द की बीमारी को हम कहते हैं उम्र के साथ और जैसे जैसे बॉडी के टिश्यूज वेयर एंड टेयर होते हैं समय के साथ उसकी वजह से जो जोड़ों में एक फ्लूड होता है जो उनकी प्रोटेक्शन करता है रक्षा करता है वह खत्म होने लगता है जिसकी वजह से जोड़ों का लचीले तरीके से हिलना डुलना कम हो जाता है और उनमें दर्द रहने लगता है गठिया दो तरह का होता है रिमेटेड और ऑस्टियो रिमेटेड जो है वो एक शरीर की प्रतिरोधात्मक क्षमता के बीमारी है जिसे हम ठीक नहीं कर सकते लेकिन जो ऑस्टियो है जो कि समय के साथ और उम्र के साथ हमारे जोड़ों में एक रक्षात्मक फ्लूड होता है कुशन जैसा उसके खत्म होने की वजह से होता है जिसे हम ठीक भी कर सकते हैं और होने से रोक भी सकते हैं तो इसके लिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं हमारे पास है बहुत ही अच्छा चमत्कार योग योग से हम अपने पूरे शरीर को खास करके जोड़ों को स्वस्थ और लचीला बनाए रख सकते हैं योग के नियमित और सही ढंग से किए गए अभ्यास से हम अपने शरीर को स्वस्थ और निरोग रख सकते हैं तो चलिए आज के इस वीडियो में देखते हैं कि कैसे कुछ योगिक सूक्ष्म व्यायाम जो कि हमारे शरीर के एक एक जोड़ को कॉन्सेंट्रेट करते हुए हम करेंगे और उससे हम अपने जोड़ों के दर्द से राहत पा सकते हैं और जो स्वस्थ है वो अगर इन योगासनों को करेंगे तो वो स्वस्थ बने रह सकते हैं आइए देखते हैं शुरू करते हैं कुछ योगिक सूक्ष्म व्यायाम से So let us begin with the sukshma vyayams. First of all, we will perform Griva Shakti Vikasa. This you can do while sitting comfortably, either on a chair or stool, or sitting on the ground also. First of all, sit in a relaxed position with hands on your knees. Now, keeping your neck relaxed, turn your head. towards left and right with a slight choke keeping your shoulders chest back and rest of the body firm but relaxed repeat this 5 to 10 times or as per your comfort level you should feel the stretch developing in your neck muscles when turned towards the respective directions after completing your rounds bring your head to center relax by taking few deep long breaths every sukshma vyayam should be gapped by few deep breathings now moving on to the next sitting in the same position and keeping your neck relaxed but firm move your head up and down as much as possible starting with slow speed and gradually increasing the speed completing 5 to 10 rounds of this vyayam you can either keep your eyes open or closed as per your convenience and feel the stretch in your neck muscles from front and back both sides after completing the rounds bring your head to the center position take deep long breaths and relax next we will perform another griva shakti vikasa forming semi circle from your neck starting from your left try 
to touch your ear to your shoulder then moving your neck in a semicircle from back side and taking it to the right shoulder and then again making semicircle come back to the left shoulder and feel the stretch in your neck muscles and repeat 5 to 10 cycles you can keep your eyes either open or close as per your comfort level gradually increase the speed of making the semicircle feel the stretch in your neck muscles After completing your rounds, come back to the normal head center position. Take deep long breaths and relax. Next part, we will perform complete circle. Starting from your left, try to touch ear to your shoulder while stretching your neck. Let loose your neck to the back, making a semicircle, reaching your right shoulder, then bending forward, making another semicircle and reaching left shoulder. Do not cross this line. Keep in mind, you have to come back from this point and reverse the circle path and reach back your left shoulder. You have to repeat 5 to 10 rounds of this complete circle but you should never completely cross the 360 degree angle. A circle should be traced and it should be reversed back. Again complete 5 to 10 rounds as per your comfort level. Breathing normally throughout. This Vyam completely stretches and compresses your neck muscles and release your neck pain. After completing the rounds, come back to the normal sitting position. Take a few deep breaths and relax. Next, we will repeat the same procedure, making circle starting from your right shoulder. Try to touch your ear with your right shoulder. While doing so, do not raise up your shoulders. You should try to stretch your neck muscles and bend your neck while trying to touch the shoulder. Now let loose your neck and make circle reaching your right shoulder and then reversing back from there, completing the one circle. Repeat 5 to 10 rounds of this circular motion. First, we started with left side, so it stretched the muscles of right side. Now, we are starting from right side, so it stretches the muscles of left side. While completing all the rounds, we are completely stretching and relaxing all the neck muscles in one single vyaya. After completing the rounds, come back to the normal center head position. Take deep long breaths and relax. Now place your palms on your respective shoulders and move or rotate your arms in circular motion as shown. First clockwise 5 to 10 times, then anti-clockwise 5 to 10 times. Try doing this in slow to moderate speed so that you can feel the stretch in your muscles and your shoulder joints which are moving in all the directions. This relaxes the pain in your shoulder joints and make the muscles more flexible. 
after completing clockwise direction next move to the anti clockwise direction and repeat the same number of cycles in this direction also since arthritis is the condition of pain in joints we will focus on each and every joint and will try to ease the pain of joints so that the muscles feel at ease and relaxed after completing the rounds come back to normal position take few deep breaths and relax after this we will continue with shoulder joints again place your palms on respective shoulders and try to touch your elbows by bringing your arms in front and then taking them back making a straight line along your shoulders repeat this 5 to 10 times feeling the stretch in your shoulder joints and upper arms this is both tiring and relaxing exercise you will feel that your arms are getting tired but once you relax after performing this your arms will feel relaxed a lot more than the tiredness you can do this in a slow to moderate speed feeling and experiencing the stretch developing in your upper arms and the shoulder joints after completing the rounds bring down your hands take few deep long breaths and relax now continuing the same skandha shakti vikasa we will perform another vyayam puff out your cheeks and bend your neck forward placing your chin on the throat cavity now making fist of your hand with thumb sticking inside and straightening your arms move your shoulders up and down in a moderate to fast speed and feel the pressure over your neck region and shoulder joints do these repetitions as long as you feel comfortable when you feel uneasy raise your head up exhale through your nostrils take deep long breaths and relax please repeat this vyayam once again this bahumol shakti vikasak vyayam which concentrates at your shoulder joints and the beginning of your arms strengthens the muscles of your upper arms the shoulder joints the rotator blades and relaxes the pain developed due to arthritis let us see the repetition once more next we will do bhuja bandh shakti vikasak vyayam sitting in the same position bend your elbows and bring four arms to 90 degrees to the ground making fist of your palm with thumb sitting inside now move your arms in a motion thrusting them forward aligning at the shoulder level then bringing them back coming back only till the starting position and repeating this 5 to 10 times with normal breathing try and feel the thrust at the elbow joint the upper arm and the shoulder blades 
it is a very rejuvenating vyayam for your shoulders and arms try not to move your hands back from your body while bringing them back after completing the rounds bring down your hands take deep long breaths and relax next in line we will perform kohani shakti vikasa strengthening the elbow joint sitting in the same posture sticking your upper arm to the body raise your forearms with palms facing towards car now bend your forearms till shoulders but not touching your shoulders and then taking them down making straight and try not to touch your thighs while doing so now repeat this motion in slow to moderate speed and feel the stretch and compression developing in your arms while performing repeat 5 to 10 rounds of this procedure it strengthens your elbow joint after completing the rounds bring down your hands take deep long breaths and relax next in line we will do jhulan lurkan asan do not perform this asan if you have bleeding piles hernia any recent surgery of abdomen neck pain or high blood pressure first of all lie on your back with hands by your side and breathing will remain normal throughout the asan now bend your legs and bring them near to the chest simultaneously raise your arms and fingers into log hold your legs just below the knees keeping head above the ground now raising your head as much as possible and tilt towards your left side and try to touch the ground with sides of your legs then tilt towards your right side and again try to touch the ground with sides of your legs if you are comfortable keep your head above the ground if you are not comfortable you can lie your head on the ground and perform this asan repeat this 3 to 5 times turning to left touching the ground turning to right touching the ground and do it as per your body comfort as your body allows after completing 3 to 5 rounds return back to back lying position and with the same position of hands and feet now move back and forth while moving forward try to touch the ground with your feet it will be with a thrust and while going backward try to touch the ground with your head now repeat this again 3 to 5 times and try to touch the ground both times when you go back and forth finally after completing the rounds return back to normal lying position with your hands and legs relaxed take a few deep breaths
this asan loosens and stretches all your joints and gives your body a soothing relaxing and refreshing effect it eases out the arthritis pain and gives your body a comfort so now we start with the lying on back yoga san first we will perform setu bandh asan if you have slipped disc pain in your knees or shoulders please do not perform this asan lie on your back breathing normally relax your hands by your side now bring fold your legs at knees and bring your feet one by one and place just below your hips then hold your ankles with both your hands for the support now raise up your body from shoulders till knees while your head will lie down on the ground try to feel the stretch that is being caused at your front body especially in the abdominal region and the compression that your spine is feeling hold this position for as long as possible till you feel comfortable breathe normally then you can come back slowly resting your body on the ground and relax while taking two to three deep breaths this asan stretches and compresses simultaneously your pelvic region and the spinal cord in one step now we can again repeat this asan bring back your feet place them just below your hips hold your ankles with your hands for support lying your head on the ground raise your body above the ground stretching and arching as much as possible and holding this position till you feel comfortable breathe normally and feel the stretch in your front abdominal pelvic region chest region thoracic cage open up and your spinal cord is undergoing compression this activates stimulates and triggers your whole nervous system and relaxes your body when you feel uncomfortable please come back to the normal lying position and relax by taking some deep breaths so this was setu bandh asan finally in the line we will be performing a very relaxing asan called spinal twist pose or markat asan do not perform this asan if you have slipped disc or hernia lie down on your back with hands by your side now stretch your arms along shoulder line with palms facing down bend and turn both your legs towards left then turn your face towards right try to touch the ground with your side of the legs and hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or as per your comfort level then we will repeat the same procedure by turning both the legs together to the right side and head to the left side hold this pose for 10 to 30 seconds breathing will remain normal then come back to normal lying position and relax
take a few deep breaths to relax your body then we will repeat this asan once again bend your legs and stretch your arms along shoulder line now turn both your legs towards left touching the ground by the side of your legs and turn your head towards right hold this pose for 10 to 30 seconds or as long as you can do it comfortably then turn your legs towards right and head towards left and hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or till you can do so comfortably then come back to normal lying position and relax this asan is a very easing relaxing asan if performed at the end of session or at the end of the day when you retire for bed you can perform this asan and hold the pose for as long as you feel comfortable and good enough and then you can rest in sleep so this was markat asan So after performing a chain of sukshma vyayam and a few yoga asan next for the therapy of arthritis we move to a pranayam which is known as anulom vilom or alternate breathing practice If you have cold then do not perform This pranayam gives you a very relaxing effect as it vents out your toxins from body through respiration and gives you your muscles your overall body a very refreshing effect so first of all sit in a comfortable meditative posture you can sit in sukhasan if you have pain then you can also do this while sitting on a chair or while sitting with your legs straightened on your bed So so first of all raise your right arm and make vishnu mudra from your hand then show it to front bend your index and middle finger keep open and stretch your ring and little finger and your thumb now closing your right nostril with your thumb inhale through your left nostril as much as possible and puff out your abdomen Now while closing from ring finger your left nostril and opening your right nostril exhale out while pulling in your abdomen as much as possible do this only as per your capacity then uh, while keeping your right nostril open inhale from that puffing out your abdomen then exhale through left nostril pull in your abdomen and this completes one cycle of anulom vilom you continue repeating 5 to 10 times inhale through left close it exhale through right and again inhale through right exhale through left you have to start from left nostril and end it there only try to focus concentrate and do puffing out while inhaling and pulling in of abdomen while exhaling this cleans your respiratory system and vents out the toxins that have been accumulated through respiration physically it cleans your respiratory tract and psychologically it cleans your mind of your negative thoughts your worries your anxiety your depressive feelings and sadness so this is a very relaxing and refreshing pranayam for your overall body
After completing your rounds, you can bring down your hands, take deep breaths and relax. This pranayam is very very soothing and relaxing for your nervous system, mind, body and soul. So this was Anulom Vilom Alternate Nostril Breathing Pranayam. You can again repeat one more cycle. Please start. You can do along with this video. Inhale through your left nostril. Close it. Exhale through right. Puff in your abdomen. Then inhale. Puff out. Close the nostril. Then open your left nostril. Exhale. And please continue 4 to 5 rounds. The slow speed of this pranayam deepens its effect and it enhances the effects it causes, the happiness, the freshness in mind and the relax in the muscles. It is a wonderful therapy for arthritis patients. Whenever they feel their muscles, their nerves are getting constricted, they are feeling low, they cannot move, then they can freshen up themselves and cheer themselves by performing this soothing, calming, anulom vilom pranayam. After completing your rounds, bring down your hand, take deep breaths, and relax. So this completes our session for therapy of arthritis. Hope you liked and have gained some benefits from the yoga sans and vyayam shown here. So you have seen the power of you that it can do wonders in your life. You must have felt yourself while performing the yoga sans. Now we will close this therapy session with a prayer. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashchit Dubhag Bhave Om Shantihi Shantihi Shantihi